What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. So I've been using the Pocophone F1 for just over one week as my daily driver. Now there are quite a few things that I did like about the smartphone and a few dislikes. So today I bring you my pros and cons for the Pocophone F1 by Xiaomi. So let's begin with the pros. Now the first pro is build quality. Now this smartphone is made from a plastic body and somehow still manages to feel solid in the hands. It is only 8.8 millimeters thin and weighs 182 grams. So I actually like the build quality for the price. Even with the plastic, it does not feel cheap in the hands. Coming to the second pro, it has to be screen quality. Now you have a 6.18 inch IPS LCD screen with 416 pixels per inch. You have an 18.7 by nine aspect ratio with a full HD plus screen with a resolution of 2246 by 1080 and you also get Gorilla Glass protection. So the display is bright with great contrast and an absolute joy to watch videos and play games on. So that's my second pro, great display. Now the third pro are actually three pros combined into one to make the video a little shorter. So we are talking about CPU, cooling and gaming. Now this phone is special. You have the flagship CPU Snapdragon 845, which is cooled with copper pipe and vapor chamber and combined with the Adreno 630, allowing you to play games like PUBG Mobile on the highest settings. Now the games look and play amazing. In fact, I'm going to say that this is actually a great gaming smartphone. The device does not overheat thanks to the liquid cooling system and you can play games for long periods of time without any fear of overheating. So pro number three has to be the CPU combined with the cooling and gaming. Now pro number four is of course the great performance. Now we have MIUI version nine with Android version eight Oreo. And yesterday an update became available for Android nine Pi with MIUI 10. Now this smartphone was already super fast with Android Oreo. However, after the update to Android nine, we saw a noticeable speed boost in performance. And this does show in the benchmark test for both Geekbench and Antutu. So let's go ahead and have a look how the Pocophone F1 compares in my smartphone chart. So here it is guys, my top performing smartphone chart of 2018. And as you can see, the Pocophone F1 has taken position five on this chart. Now I've also added a new rating system so I can give each individual smartphone an overall rating out of 10. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. Now moving on to pro number five, stereo speakers. So we have two speakers providing stereo sound and I have to say the sound quality does get pretty loud but at the same time it's good quality sound and not distorted at all. And also we have the headphone jack as a bonus. Now pro number six has to be a great battery life and fast charging. Now you get a 4,000 milliamp battery which will last you one day even with heavy usage and you still get some juice left at the end of the day. Now this comes with an 18 watt quick charge three fast charger included in the box and in 30 minutes you can get this smartphone back to 40% battery. So pro number six has to be the great battery life and fast charging. Now pro number seven is the cameras. Now on the back you have a 12 megapixel and 5 megapixel dual AI cameras with dual autofocus. You can take some pretty decent looking photos and videos especially in good lighting situations and I have to say it does an okay job of low light shots too. And the camera supports up to 4K video recording and on the front you have a 20 megapixel selfie camera. Now for the price of this handset this camera is way above expectation. So pro number 8 is fast fingerprint sensor and face unlock. Now this device has a very fast and accurate fingerprint sensor located on the back. It's easy to reach and unlocks the smartphone very fast and accurate every single time. You also have a very fast face unlock. So that was our pro number eight. Let's go to the final pro, pro number nine, the price. Now this is an unbelievable price for a flagship Snapdragon 845 device with liquid cooling, rock solid gaming capabilities, decent AI cameras, and the list goes on. 263 pounds in the UK or 329 US dollars. Super price for a flagship killing device. Now moving on to the cons and there aren't that many. So the first con is no waterproofing. 
Most flagships nowadays have some sort of resistance to water with an IP rating, but Pocophone does not like water, so you need to be careful of it. So con number two is no electronic image stabilization at 4K. So there is no image stabilization when shooting videos in 4K. However, you do have electronic image stabilization when shooting in 1080p. Now the third con is no NFC or wireless charging. Now most new flagships come with NFC and wireless charging as standard. However, you will not get these features in the Poco F1. Now my fourth and final con is MIUI. Now I have to be honest, I have never really enjoyed MIUI. The icons, the color scheme, everything is not to my taste. Now you do have the swipe gestures similar to the Pixel launcher and no doubt MIUI is improving throughout the years. MIUI is blazing fast on the Poco F1, especially with the Snapdragon 845 CPU and the device got even faster with the new MIUI 10 update with Android Pie. So I'm happy to see at least we're getting the latest updates with MIUI. However, I would actually pay extra to have stock Android as an option for this smartphone. So there you have it guys, that was my pros and cons for the Pocophone F1. These are my real experiences after using the handset as my main daily driver for just over a week. Bottom line, this is without any doubt a flagship killer. The cons are not a big deal or deal breaker even for myself. I can highly recommend this smartphone. This is the most affordable Snapdragon 845 flagship device of 2018 and I just can't wait to see what Poco comes up with next year for 2019. So if you'd like to see more videos like this then do hit the like button to let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be notified when I drop a video. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.